guys, so today's gonna be a fun one. Um, I am going to be using this palette. So it's basically going to be a review, but also like doing a Disney princess look kind of thing. So today we are going to be using the ColourPop Frozen 2 Elsa palette. Um, back here it has the different names. The packaging is so beautiful, but there you go. This is the back. Um, there's like actual glitter on here, like there's actual texture, so I love it. I was given this for my birthday, so I'm so happy that I was able to get this. Thank you, Amanda, shout out. Also, my voice is going to be sounding really weird. Um, this is going on like day three of working, and like it's just me talking the whole time. This weekend has just been me talking and screaming all weekend. I also went ice skating last night, so that was super fun. Uh, so if I sound weird... I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do about it. But so, we're gonna try to like, use this palette. I don't know yet, I keep, I, I think I'll know when I start doing it, if I wanna do like an Elsa inspired look or copy Elsa's makeup that she does. Like you know, like the purples. Um, Cause this palette has such pretty colors in it. Let's actually open it up to show you guys, look. She's beautiful. I want the Anna one so bad. I'm gonna have to order it soon. But look at these colors. They have the colors to do the Elsa look, which are like these two colors and the white. But then I can also use this blue and this to make like an Elsa look. I don't know. There's so, there's so many options. But it's beautiful and I love ColourPop so I can't wait to use this. I have another ColourPop, wow, that was really close. I have another ColourPop eyeshadow palette, so I'm very familiar with how their formula is. I use this palette a lot. So I might dip into this while I'm using this one, but I kind of strictly want to stay to this palette so I can see what I can work with. Uh, so we're gonna get started. This is kind of be, kind of be, this is kind of be. This is kind of going to be like that James Charles video I did, probably a lot shorter. Um, we're just gonna fast forward the parts of me putting on the makeup and there will be parts of me talking. So let's just, let's just try to do this. So first I'm gonna show you my breakfast apparently and then we're gonna go into putting up my hair and then I'm gonna set my face with the Jeffree Star uh, setting spray. Now we're going to go into doing the eyebrows. You know, got to make those eyebrows look great. So we're going to use Morphe for that. I have my little pencil and we're going to color that in. Eyebrows I always do first because, if, you know, eyebrows are always the first thing, at least to me. My eyebrows are most important. So we're just going to get those eyebrows done and let's see what happens after this. All right, so next I'm going to be using my Jeffree Star concealer. To prime my eyes, I don't use primer. I normally use concealer because I like the way that the eyeshadow goes onto the concealer. So we're just going to rub that in all over the eye, under the eyebrow, and make a new clean canvas for that eyeshadow. So next I'm going to go in with my other color pop palette called Give It To Me Straight. I'm going to take that neutral base color and cover both my eyelids with that color just to get a nice clean base for the rest of the look. And this is gonna lighten my eye a little bit and just create a better canvas for this look. So I am, <clears throat> so I am going to do the Elsa like makeup look that she has in the movie. So that look right there. So now the rest of this is gonna be me trying to figure out how to make this as Elsa as possible and learning about how pigmented this purple is and learning how to blend these colors together. This is just gonna be an entire learning curve. So I'm just going to let this play without me talking over it for the rest of the time, just playing some music. So you can see the confusion on my face because I think it gets really funny at some points just because the purple was just a lot to work with. I was trying to figure out what would make the purple look best and how to blend everything properly. So let's just watch.
before we continue and I clean up and all that, I just want to come talk really quick. I know, they're not even. Wow, I'm human. Um, the pigment is really good. Uh, I want to show you guys. The, the purple picked up really well onto the brush. So, let me show you that. I'm going to dip it into the purple. Picks up really well. Now i got to clean this brush. But, so yeah, the purple picked up really, really well. And it also um, went really well on the eyes. Uh, the only problem I'm having is that this nude color, the fire, it's picking up, but like, I don't know. It's not putting enough on for me. I just think it's the blendability is what's like a not there for me right now. But that's all I have to say. I, I'm loving the colors. And uh, we're going to get back to it and then it'll be finished eventually. <laughs> This is where I started getting stressed because I was like, nothing's really blending, so I'm just gonna keep blending. If you see my mouth moving, that's what I was saying. I just gotta keep blending. So in this part, I'm just blending everything together, the purple with the white that I was putting on my eyelids from the palette, just trying to blend it all in so that it looked cohesive. So this entire clip's just me blending, but also being stressed at the same time and trying to get even lines for the look. So enjoy that so in this next part i am setting my eyes with my jeffree star setting spray now i'm going to go in with my poreless fit me foundation i'm just going to cover my whole face with this you know going to go in, into the forehead area it's going to go from my face into my neck to make sure that everything blends in together and that's going to be probably it for the foundation. We're just going to make sure we cover any little imperfections there. And I'm going to keep looking into my other mirror. So if I look like I'm not looking at the camera or something, it's because I have a mirror next to my camera. But I'm just going to make sure that I blend all of that in. So everything looks very seamless. Make sure everything blends in with the hairline. And there she is. Alright, so now I'm just going with my Jeffree Star Concealer to conceal some areas and to lighten up some areas. Just to get rid of the bags under my eyes and to light up certain points of my face that I like to accentuate. And I love this concealer. I think it works so amazing and all of his products so far have worked great on me. So that's it. I love this concealer and there's me concealing. So in this next part, I'm just putting glitter that came with the palette. It was the middle eyeshadow, and I'm just using it to act like a little highlighter moment, kind of, um, really just to accentuate the eyes a little more with glitter on the side. I am going to put them on my inner corners a little later, but right now this is just on the cheeks. What I can say is I'm living for the glitter inside this palette, honestly. Phenomenal. It like it was hard to get on at first, but if you spray your your brush with some setting spray and then put it on, it gets on really well. Definitely Elsa vibes. I kinda wanna put some like on the side of my eyebrow right there. Like right up here.
She just wants to sparkle. All right, mascara is on. So we are complete, we are done. This is new mascara, not sure if I'm like loving it. I have a better one that I'll probably use next time for another look, but overall I love the palette. I'm so happy that I got it for my birthday. Uh, the colors are fun. The purple, like I said earlier, is very bright. I really can't wait to do a look with this blue and this like skin tone color right here. I really want to use those two so bad because I feel like they'll look really good together. But that is that is it for today. I really am happy with the way this look came out. I was getting really frustrated towards the middle of it, but I'm so happy that it came out really well. Um, thank you, Amanda, for getting me this for my birthday. It was really such a thoughtful gift. Again, thank you. Again, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you guys so much for sticking around for this video. And I really like this look. I hope you do too. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, whatever you want. And... Take a look at my Instagram. I'll see you guys later.